Per Cranal Point, the preferred method for managing devices that are registered in NCM is through the group configuration. If there are more specific settings needed for individual devices, use the device configuration in NCM. For example, it is possible to make the administration password standard for an entire group and then create individual SSIDs for each device, both through NCM. Start by logging into NCM and go to the Groups tab on the left. Select the group you want to configure and click the Configuration tab up top. Choose Edit from the drop-down menu. A window will open to a limited view of the router's administration pages. We're going to change the administrator password as well as the Wi-Fi passwords at this time. Click on the System tab from the left, then select Administration and Router Security. Note the password minimum length, which is currently set to 10 characters. Click the box beside Admin under the Advanced User Management section and then click the Edit button. Enter in your new password and then enter it again to confirm. Hit Save when done, and then OK. If you'd like to adjust the local management and how it is accessed, such as the port number, you can also adjust that here. Remember to click Save if you make any changes. Next, we'll go under Networking on the left and Local Networks to find the Wi-Fi radio settings. There are two radios, one for each frequency, 2.4 and 5. Both configurations will be the same. We'll start with 2.4. Select the default Wi-Fi name and then click Edit above. In the window that opens, find the WPA password and enter in a new one of your choice. Click Save and OK when you're done. If needed, you may also adjust things like the channel selection, client timeout, and transmit power at the bottom of the radio pages. Now we can repeat the process under Wi-Fi Radio 2. Again, click Save and OK when you're done. If you need to adjust the WAN connection settings, remember you can do this at the Connection Manager page. Note that the actual WAN interfaces do not show up here, only the WAN types. Any changes needing to be made will be done to all WAN interfaces that match that type. We've completed all the changes we want to make at this point, so we're going to go to the bottom right corner here and click Commit Changes. Click OK to confirm and wait a few moments. You will be taken back to the NetCloud Groups page. Click on the Devices page to check the status of the configuration to your devices. Refer to the circular arrow icon here in the configuration column as this indicates the configuration is still being applied. Wait until you see configuration change from pending to synced and then you'll know the changes have completed. That's all for our NetCloud group configuration. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful and invite you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.